<sighs> All right. I am back. Before we begin the stream, I want to point out some other things I just now noticed. Apparently this is not... This blue streak on the side of the screen here is not bleed over from the emulation window. It's just the background image that I was using in OBS here for the transitions. It's just covered by the emulator window in OBS, so that's not bleed over. Also... <coughs> I, uh... Before I had to leave after the last stream to go to whatever it was, I, uh was checking out this random YouTuber I got recommended who was doing a live stream of Cruelty Squad, which was fun to see. He had just gotten to the ending, and I helped him out a few times. So for doing that, playing a cool game that I enjoy, I'm going to give him a random shout-out because I also recommended this uh, g this ROM hack to him. Uh, that worked. Anyways, Z Ready is the guy... I'm also doing this as a sort of, you know, maybe if I light enough fires under him, it'll start playing it, and I can tell him. I might have to reboot the emulator. Yeah. I forgot to even turn on my controller. Come on, yes. The window has to be focused. For me to... Alright. Here we go. No, wait. Last time I said we were gonna do... Yeah, here we go. Last time I said I was just gonna do a save state. So we could explore this part of the castle more. I'm gonna have to start assuming, though, now, that, uh, any time there's, like, a vanilla painting or poster being reused, that it's just used as a placeholder. Because sometimes I jump into these ones up here and they, they're just solid, they don't go anywhere. Last time, we got up here from, like, a foggy version of the the courtyard of the castle. So now I gotta see where any of these doors lead. So far this just seems like a very crusty version of it just keeps going higher and higher. From the top of the castle. This is another level. I'm not gonna try checking out. Oh, something spooky must be happening. Found a dead end. Yeah, I'm not going to be checking out too many levels. I'm just going to see, like, how elaborate is the castle, actually. Is there anything up here? We seem to be at some sort of transitioning threshold. Because Peach's face is up there. I think they might have taken my advice. Of course, this is probably, like, wishful thinking, but maybe they took my advice on, like, have the posters give further context as to where you're going. The... We're still having dead zone issues. Maybe that's a result from them tweaking the Mario's character slightly to try to get him to do, or yeah, to, to, in order to implement the, uh... my dog is going crazy now. 
Thank you, dog. Thank you, Bernie. Oh, we're just, we're just, yeah. Wait, we're what? We're just back here? Is this the main troll of this? Is that like this part of the lobby just like keeps going back to different parts of itself? I mean, that'd be funny. Be something we had, we haven't seen before as opposed to it just keeps going. Here's more of the wall we're supposed to just forget about. Wait, we're here? Didn't we already check out that place when we were... When we initially found the foggy courtyard? See, it's like you can tell they changed enough about this so it's supposed to look like the upstairs of the castle. God. Now this I'm surprised by. It's the endless staircase, but Peach instead of Bowser. That's actually kind of clever. The game lagged. Are we gonna get to see more spooky stuff now? We're standing on something that appears to be broken. We're on like a ramp. Oh, we just came out here. The hell is this thing? Is that supposed to be like a, a music box? I kind of don't want to get near it. I'm afraid it might be a jump scare device. I almost feel bad for whatever that thing was. It's like somebody made the texture sentient and like crammed them all into like a torture box. It's like an art installation. The textures have feelings now. It's just broken textures as far as the eye can see. Is there anything over here? I really hope I don't run into any shadow creatures that, like, crash my game. I mean, I know I was talking about I hope we find the spooks, but I kind of don't want to lose my progress on anything. I guess we do have save states. I'll just make another one. There we go. Did I thought this wall was another shadow, Mario. Oh. Back to semi-normalcy, except there's like a weird blue screen at the end of the hall. Is this the Wario apparition? Please tell me this is the... No. It is decreed that one shall receive a star from a toad. He's not gonna talk to me now, though. He just has no face. Or eyes, or hands. That. I was like, for a second, the star didn't even disappear. Where oh. Wait a minute. I knew what that was. That's the chamber where. Alright, so the th there's like a theory on the iceberg that like Peach is trapped behind the painting. Yes, there's like, th that's like the area between the painting and the courtyard. Was this real? Oh.
Man, I wish I could have all five million options presented to me in this game at once. You're just gonna let me go through this door? Where does this one go? More spooky areas of the castle, yes. Oh, it's blood water. Here's the thing, though. I feel like we've been in... Fuck. Have I even been in this one? I can't even remember. This crack goes nowhere. Why does this place seem so familiar? I feel like this is like more of a towards the end area of like the last version of this mod or this ROM hack I played. It's like the MIDI just gives up more and more as you go. The sheer scale of this place, man. Is this supposed to be a version of Jolly Roger Bay or something? See, like, I'm trying to guess what the music is. I kind of feel like at some point I do want to turn the audio back up. I feel like a mouse under a bed now. They definitely fleshed out this mod more. In a good way, because before it felt like after a while you, you started to loop back to places you were. Whereas it's like now you're utterly and truly lost. They've had a lot more branching features now. Why does this ramp make me lag so much? See, it's like whenever the random lag spikes happen, I'm, I'm not quite sure what to think of them or what to... It's always stuff like this, too. There's like a transition to a level back there, I'm pretty sure. But... It's like there's a door behind the level entrance that you kind of want to go in right there. Where is this place? It had like the same music as the last one, but now it's now it's not the last place. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's also water. Wait a minute. What's down here? This doesn't take me anywhere. Either that or the transition was broken. Oh, that's why it's we're here. That pool was another path you could go through. I didn't even see there was a pool. Did we go in the peach with pipe? No. 
There's one room here that's more tantalizing than anything. This door that says no. What is it with the moon? Oh, we're in the prison cell already? Can't talk to the toads, I don't think. It's like they're not even gonna tell me. here. Alright, this pipe we will go in. Oh. We're here. Into this pipe then. We're starting to... We're starting to find repeat areas, it seems. Is this a level? It is, I think. But, like, how do I start it? Nope. I immediately ate shit. And now I'm in hell. Did I go in this bo door before? Did I go in this forba door? I did. Fuck. I swear you're mo what OBS did the thing again. Whatever, the stream's still going. I just can't see the previews all. There's, there's nothing else even really open. Like it didn't do it didn't do it before. It was good for like all of its last stream. dead-end window. Yep. This one. I could tell that something told me that white spotlight was quicksand. Oh, we're here. I know where this is. Fuck. 
fuck. Yes. Well, I mean, I know what this place is, but I don't know where it is. Let me correct that. This is the route we originally took to get to the ending. But we need the vanish cap, still. Oh, we're just in hell now. Fine, we'll try a level. Fuck kind of texture is that? What am I looking at? It's like the most low res picture of a rose bush you could ever generate, and then they just like Super stretched it. this thing. I see a ring up there. We're going straight for the star. getting out of here. are different. I remember this. This is that version of Jolly Roger Bay where it's just floating rocks. Ah! Come on. My grandma could get up there, Mario. See, I know there's gonna be some people complaining. They're like, oh, he doesn't know how to play Mario 64, he doesn't know how to do the platforming. But it's so good. How do you not know how to do it? It's because I don't. It's because Mario controls more like driving a car. Water texture looks different over there, for some reason. Are those all red coins? 
Why are, why are some of them floating? Bloopers. Do we not even need all red coins? Bloopers don't work as well as 3D space, I'm gonna say it. Now for the big mystery, why is this water flowing like this? It's unfortunate the engine isn't as capable of rendering stuff that's further away. It kind of breaks your immersion when you can't really figure out how to get through the level. <sighs> I'm guessing you can wall jump off of there. Why not, though? No game. There we go. We're in, boys. Now you... How we want to do this. Boom. 20 stars. In the bank. If you want me to collect those eight coins, you must be on crack. Hold on. I remember the last time we went into Thwomp's Fortress and it, like, turned completely different. Nope. We still rocking the same level out here. See, look, those ones don't even have a platform that spawns for them. They're just there. I don't think I can get into the ship. There's where Unagi's supposed to be. I know, game, calm down. Go, Mario. There we go. These things have tracking on them now. Yeah. Yeah. 
You don't have to do the chess game here, there's just another star. Where'd I even go? What kind of music is this? That's what the blargs do? They just spit the lava at you. First of all, let's check out what the actual level over here looks like. We kind of skipped on that. The... OBS is starting to stutter up yet again. thing has to be nope I was gonna say free star cruelty squad music I was about to say I feel like I'm missing something here Yes. Look at that. I'm so badass. I'm walking on lava. doing that shit. Like I, it's like I'm smart or something. Now where? I thought I was walking off a ledge or like one of those Chucky thingies was gonna be up here. Not Chucky, like the doll, but the the things that chuck you off. Those things that are completely creepy. The purposefully walk you to the edge and just fucking. Star. Yeah. Which lobby can I get to? that has the different version of Jolly Roger 
Yeah, this is the one I'm looking for. Oh. Never mind. Again, the bird ambience is like all fucked up. And also, is this brick texture supposed to be this hyper realistic? I feel like they purposefully picked it just for spooks. For a second, that didn't even go anywhere. The parameter has changed again. Oh my god. No. Hold on. That's what we're doing? I have to catch all my hyperactive cocaine children? It's three of them. Feels like I'm stuck in a ball pit. Haha. <laughs> Come on. Now you're messing with me. There we go. We haven't even found the yellow switch this time. D is the game really different now that like it's darker in the, the lobby. I was never able to figure that out. Are you just dead? I don't know why the game keeps bugging out like that. I wish I knew what caused it. Yeah, 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 yeah
So why is Unagi dead though? I get to keep playing. I get two stars. See, I know what this one is. I thought I'd picked this one up already, though. Maybe this was the level I played off screen. I remember this being changed, though, definitely. No, no, come on. I'm surprised nobody has been able to, like, duplicate the code for Mario. Or duplicate the code for Mario's movement. You'd think it'd be as simple as, like, decompiling it. But, uh, no. There is actually a... There is actually what is called a library for Super Mario 64. You could just place Mario from Mario 64 into any game, but like, that kind of feels like cheating. You, you, you haven't really figured out the code for him, you, get, you just kind of bootstrapped him into any game. Like, no, I want to be able to know, like, what kind of tweaks could you make to Mario as, like, a gameplay object. Star. I feel like at this point I should just try playing like any other Mario game. If I'm just gonna be playing this the whole time, complaining about moving like, when it doesn't work for me. Duh. Excuse me. Now he's Larry? Now he's Larry -o?
What is this? Oh. We're just here. There's like nothing special though, if you come this way. It just leads you to the fountain. All right, now that I'm here, do I go back to this door and it turns out it's something different? No, I'm just in hell again. I remember this door kills you. No, all of them kill you. Alright. Wait, what's under here? Ooh. Alright, sure, we'll check this place out. One strip of suspicious carpet. Ooh, have we been to this section yet? I don't think we have. Mario, calm down. I swear the distance you have to fall for him to start freaking out has been shortened. Come on. It's a door, Mario. You know how to do this. Here we've been. One more time. Oh. Didn't even take us anywhere spooky. I don't know why, but like, a monochrome picture of like just a mountain is just spooky. There's nothing down here even, it's just a pet.
Oh, that is interesting. And it leads to a pipe. Now get in there, Mario. This more spooky. Get me out, it hurts. Luigi? The game crashed again. I think I might end this one here for now. Started to slow down there a bit till the end. Yeah. Alright, see ya.